What's up my friends, welcome back! Since I started all of my electronics project I wanted a CNC machine and to be more specific I wanted a laser cutter CNC machine. Usually when people hear about a CNC machine think about this, a machine controlled with step motors and a drill. This is a milling machine and yes it's a CNC machine, but so is a 3D printer, a laser engraver, a 2D plotter and so on. Basically all of these are CNC machines because CNC stands for computerized numerical control which basically means that a computer, in this case a microcontroller will control the movement of the machine using numbers. We have a file in the format of a G-code with all the numbers and we send those numbers to the machine row by row in order to control the movement of all the axes. Anyway, I've never got to have that laser cutter because those are quite big and also very expensive but Banggood sent me the CNC laser engraver which is a good start. So in this video we will see how to mount this kit, how to use the laser engraver and probably we will burn something out with this 2.5 watts laser module. So make sure you have your laser safety goggles on and let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. First of all make sure you will only use the laser safety goggles and never look directly at the laser beam. This laser is powerful enough to make you blind. Ok, let's open the box and mount the engraver. First, let's look what we have inside. We start with aluminum bars for the frame, a case of hardware such as rollers, screws, plastic spacer and nuts. Next, we have the laser cut acrylic parts, 3 step motors for the movement and the power adapter. We also have the belts for each axis movement, the USB cable and the power cable. Finally, we have a piece of metal for the laser module support, the safety goggles and a box of electronics. Inside this box we have the 25 watts laser module, which by the way be very careful with it. We also have the main controller board based on Arduino. The board has two step motors drivers, so we won't be able to control the height of the laser module. We will only have Y and X movement and manually set the laser diode height, as we will see later. Finally, we had some wood and cardboard samples and all the step motors wires and we are done. And this is all that we have inside of the box, so now we are ready to mount this machine. Ok, so you won't receive a manual for this kit but searching on Google you will find instructions. I will place a link for you with that below. As you can see we have very few parts, so this should be quick. Before we start we should peel all the acrylic parts. Ok, so we first mount the metal frame. For that we will use these 4 metal bars and the acrylic corners like this. I first add two M5 screws on the acrylic parts and fit those parts on the long metal bars. I also add the rubber feet using same M5 screws. Once I do that on both sides of the metal bar, I place two nuts on each bar since I will need those for the belt grip parts later. Now I close the frame with the other thick metal bars and we should have the main frame of the machine. Once the main frame is ready, we prepare the Y axis support with the wheels and the step motors. We first add the step motor in place using M3 screws. When that is done, we add the 4 rollers using M5 screws and nuts. Leave the bottom roller loose so we could later fit the entire support on the metal bar. Do the same for the other side and we are done. Now place the supports on the thick metal part of the frame and tie the screws so the rollers will move smooth. It's now time to add the X axis bar between those two supports that we have just added. Fit the bar in place using M5 screws and don't forget to add the two nuts for the belt grippers later on the bottom part of this metal bar. Make sure that everything moves smooth and we are done. Now let's prepare the X axis support for the laser module. As before we first add the step motor and also the metal support for the laser module on the other acrylic part. Now we have to join the parts together using long M5 screws and the top rollers in between. 
Don't forget to add the pulley to the motor before you close this part on the metal bar. Finally, at the bottom rollers, tie the screws and we are done. Make sure that the axis will move smooth with no problems. The next thing I did was to add the main board on the black acrylic part with some screws and plastic spacers. Then I've placed it on the back metal bar of the machine. Now install the laser module on the X-axis support and tie the screws. It's time for the belt. Using the belt grippers, add the M3 screws on each like this. Now pass the belt through the hole and tie the screws on the metal bar like this. Pass the belt below the rollers and above the motor pulley and tie it on the other side of the bar. Cut the axis when the screws are tight. Do the same for the other side and also for the X-axis as well. The machine is ready, now let's connect the wires. We have two wires for the Y-axis motors, one for the X-axis motor and one for the laser. Our CNC machine is ready and looks very good. I plug the adapter and connect the 12 volts to the main board. Now everything is powered. It's time to put the safety glasses because this machine is quite dangerous. Connect the USB to the board and then to your PC. In order to protect my workshop table, I've placed a sheet of plywood beneath the machine and now we are ready to start. The software that I first tried is called LSCAM, since this is the one recommended with this machine. You have the link for the software below, ready to download. I've installed this software following the guide and I successfully connected to the machine. As you can see, I can move the axis or activate the laser. But when I send the file to be printed, the machine won't move. I've tried to solve this problem but with no success. So I decided to use another software called Bandbox. But for that, we first have to upload another code to the main board of the machine compatible with this software. Download the zip file below and extract it. Inside that folder, you will have the software but also the firmware for the main board in an hexadecimal format. First, you have to make sure that you install the CH340 driver. Once that is done, install the Bandbox software and open it. Here in the software, you have to click the Update Firmware button in order to upload it to the board. Select the CAM of the machine board and now open the hexadecimal file that you have downloaded in the folder. Upload the code and now you should wait till you get the green check mark. Once that is done, go to Serial Ports. If it says Success, then you are ready to go. In the parameters, you must place these same values as you can see here, for the X and Y movement and for the laser as well. Click Save and now let's make a test. I've designed this file in Photoshop and save it in a BMP format. Go to Bandbox and click Open and select that file. Now, make sure you have the safety glasses on and that the laser module is well focused. Press the laser push button to put it into weak mode and rotate the laser tip till you get a very small and very focused beam. Now remember to deactivate the weak mode and we are ready to print. Change your settings here and click play and the machine will start engraving. Make sure you open a window or have a fume extractor since this will create a lot of smoke, especially when you are engraving wood. The print is going very nice, so there you go. I've burned my first logo on a piece of wood. You could play with the machine settings and try other materials. My plan is to etch a PCB using the nice precision of the laser. I want to paint black the PCB. Burn the layout with the laser and then etch the PCB using chemical process. I've seen this type of PCB etching, so I have to try it. But that is for a future video. Now my final opinion on this machine. Well, it does everything I expected to do before buying it. The printing size is quite big, of around 46 by 38 centimeters. 
It has a decent precision that could even get better with more calibrations. It is very fast and easy to mount in just a couple of hours and also very easy to use. It has a great design, it looks nice and it's quite powerful. And that's the problem, this machine has very few safety features. First of all, it doesn't have a case, so you won't be protected from laser exposure. The glasses that they give you aren't that good and for a direct beam exposure they might not protect you. Another issue that I've seen is that when the machine is powered and you connect the USB, the laser module will start at full power and if you're not careful that might hurt you. So this is a big error because the board will enable the laser module when the USB is connected and that second of laser is enough to hurt you. So make sure you have the weak mode selected before starting the machine. A good thing about this kit is that in any moment you could remove the laser module and add a drill and use it as a soft milling machine. Maybe I will try that in the future. As for the components quality, well, the frame is made out of metal and that's a good thing. The kit was missing some metal corners for the main frame, but anyway, the frame seems quite strong only with these acrylic joints. It has V-shaped rollers, powerful enough step motors and the main board, well, it's one of the cheapest one there is. It's based on Arduino and with only two step motors drivers and that's it. The drivers have no heatsink on top of them, so I will probably add those myself. Also, the USB cable is quite short. A longer one would be better. Anyway, I like it. I'll have to use it for a longer period of time in order to see more good or bad things about it. But for now, I can say that this machine is okay, as for the quality and price. You have the link for this machine below from Banggood for around 180 euros, which I guess is a fair price since only the laser module will cost you 100 euros. You have the 2.5 watts module or the more expensive one with 5 watts laser module. You decide which one to buy. With one like mine of 2.5 watts you could be able to burn wood, plastic, leather and much more. I hope that you enjoyed this small intro on this LX Maker CNC laser engraver. If you would like to help my projects, I have a Patreon campaign. The link is down below. I would really, really appreciate that, guys. Also, check all the links in the description below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. Remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.